So let me give you kind of a preview on how cool this new KidOps bevel add-on is. So let's just really quickly go in and say shift, create, create kind of a screwdriver. Shift A, mesh, uh, I'll do a cylinder and we will set the number of vertices to six. And let's make the depth kind of like, a, think of it a handle, handle size of the screwdriver. And, and then let's just scale the whole thing down control a scale so we apply the scale scale a little more control a apply the scale so uh tab into it control r and let's move it up to the top here something like this control b just just bevel just a little bit e to extrude right click to leave it in place S to scale it in and there we go and then we'll say control R and we're going to move this one down to the base something like this control B to bevel it we'll make it a little bit smaller move it up a little bit E to extrude right click to leave it S to scale and there we have it and now let's go ahead and do the same thing with a let's tab out of here shift a let's do a cube and in this case I'm just gonna scale it down something like this extend it out move it down we're gonna make this thing large okay this is gonna be our screwdriver so I'm gonna pull it down something like that so there we have it so there's our there's kind of our screwdriver maybe scale it just a little more this way control a we'll leave the scale alone and I'll move it right here and let's just fix this tab come in here and E pull it down stretch it out E pull it down some more and we'll just go in here and stretch it oops we'll stretch it back in something like that so there's our low very low poly screwdriver so how do we make this look better well let's go right back into the handle i'm going to tab in here and i'll hold the alt key down with the edges selected and i'll just go edge 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 there's three four five six control b and i'll just uh something like this maybe tab shade smooth go into here and auto smooth that out okay same thing with this i think we're in pretty good shape there right click shade smooth and auto smooth so now now we're good i'm save my file power save okay so now uh let's go ahead and let's add some materials to this let's go to z we have two different objects so we'll take this one i'm going to get ops I'll go in here and I'm going to say, I'm going to give myself a uh, other, this rubber material. Let's let it refresh here. There it is. And then add that material to that. Come in here and we'll go to metal. And I'm going to grab this steel material right here and add that. And now we have the metal and the handle and the steel material. So now we're just what I'm going to do is if I look at these carefully, let's go ahead and just, uh, you'll see that, you know, we don't have any definition along these edges. In fact, let's go ahead and change that rubber to a bit of a different color, an easier color to look at. Something like that. And let's give it a little more. A little shininess, a little more shininess. Okay. Here we have it and the steel is the same way it's kind of so what i want to do is i want to go ahead and use kit ops bevel to bevel this out so i'll take the first object which is the top one and i'll say uv unwrap and it's unwrapped it and then i'll go into it and i'll say preview it and so let's look at this preview and see what kind of bevel i want i can use this you know maybe 
be something like that will be good. Okay, so I'll stop the preview and I'm going to use a text resolution of 1K and bake the normal. And down here it shows me baking the normal. And uh, how cool is that? Let it finish up. And now that's done. And once that's done, I'll just I'll generate the default material for that. So there's the default material uh, that comes with KitOps uh, Bevel. So you can see that's a that's pretty good. That's not bad at all. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, change that to the rubber material. So I'll go to the rubber. Here's the rubber, and I'll say generate material. And there's our rubber material. And that's even better if I want to go in and I want to adjust the rubber. I can just go back in and say rubber. And let's say on the scale, for instance, we'll make that two and roughness one and bump 0.5. And I might actually just, I don't know, make the roughness uh, 0.1. That's a little, well, let's make it, let's make it six and this five. There you go. So that gives us a little bit better of a, a texture as you can see. And now with this selected, I'll just hit this button that says generate material. And there we have that very nice material all set up. Beautiful for that service. Let's go back into here. Let's do the same thing. Let's just generate this color scale. Let's just move it up just a little bit. And just kind of so I can get a little bit more a uh, little finer texture there and with that we will go into preview and I'm going to zoom up on it and I'm going to shift and drag it down oops shift there we go let's just hold the shift key down drag it down to something that I think is going to be about right maybe right about there and stop preview make the normal again we're using a texture revolution of a thousand 24 it's a 1k texture map and we're baking down here showing our progress and once that's done i can uh, go in here and just assign that steel material and say generate it right here whoops sorry you need to do that right here steel generate there we go so i'm still learning how to use it too and uh and really uh let's go, let's get into the eevee mode render eevee and take a look at that isn't that nice it's a really nice material let's turn this off see how well how, how quick that was generated and to, to create and uh, i could have used uh, in this particular case i could have also added bevels using the uh, modifiers but crying out loud man those look pretty darn good i don't know that you need modifiers i mean that's that's just looking just really 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 good now notice that here we didn't get a good bake because we didn't cut this unwrap right we should have actually uh, dropped this down a little bit let's take a look at that real quick and i'm going to go into my uv editing for that object and let's go into the uh oops wrong one this is this is the bevel for that and if i tab into this and hit a you'll see that see these care these these sides right in here uh, you'll see that all these sides actually I don't even see this so you smart UV project let's give this like a 20.1 there we go so that's that's the better I, I guess we forgot to turn I, we forgot to turn that on so let's just leave this off let's go back into our layout and let's just go ahead and uh, once we have that done, let's just bake it. Again, we'll use that same number that we were using before for the bevel. And generate the material. Now we can see that, yeah, that looks just exactly what we want it to look like. So anyway, hope this was interesting. It shows you some examples of how you can use bevel to do things. Uh, we've done some m much more elaborate things like tire treads and things like that, but this is just a quick example showing how it works. Thanks for watching.